Hi everyone, Stacy Weider here on behalf of Campus Mortgage with some quick tips for you on addressing temporary reduction in income on FHA loans. Now just a quick reminder before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered legal advice or used in place of FHA guidelines. Also, this video was issued on August 8th, 2017, and the information contained in this video is subject to change without notice. So let's take a look at some examples of temporary or causes for temporary reduction in income. It could be a leave of absence, going from full-time to part-time, maybe having to address health issues, a birth or adoption, or needing to address family needs. Either way, the requirements are that a borrower with a temporary reduction in income due to a short-term disability or similar circumstance, the lender must document the following. They must document that the borrower intends to return to work, that they have the right to return to work, and that they qualify for the mortgage taking into account any reduction of income due to the circumstance. Also, the lender must qualify the borrower on their pre-leave income if they're returning to work before or at the time of the first mortgage payment. If the borrower is returning to work after the due date of the first mortgage payment, the lender can qualify the borrower on the following. Their current income plus income supplement. Now, how do you calculate the income supplement is by taking available surplus liquid asset reserves that are above and beyond any required reserves up to the amount of the borrower's pre-leave income. Now let's talk about the required documentation. The lender must obtain the following items. A written, written statement from the borrower confirming the intent to return to work and the intended date of return. A statement from the employer confirming the borrower's eligibility to return to the current employer after the temporary leave. And proof of sufficient liquid assets to supplement the borrower's income through the intended date of return to work. All right, everyone, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips and videos, please visit campusmortgage.org and look for their weekly video mortgage tips designed for all mortgage professionals, including underwriters, loan officers, processors, closers, and post-closers. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.